Allah speaks about marriage and He says, if they are poor, as a result of that marriage, we will open the doors of sustenance and provide for them. How many people didn't have much? And when they got married, the doors of sustenance opened like floodgates. Most of the older people don't realize when they got married, they had nothing. The same guys who make it a condition on their sons-in-law to have a castle and a palace equivalent to that of the kings and the lords before they get married. Come on. But when you were married, chappalbi na ata. Bolo. You didn't even have slippers, bro. Allahu Akbar. Is it not a fact? I'm talking about ourselves and our parents and our grandparents. As long as there was a good guy coming to the masjid, they said, Behijaw. Right or wrong? But today things have changed. We've become so material. There is one quality you need, the quality of responsibility. If the guy is irresponsible, even if he's wealthy, trust me, it's not a good deal. But if he's responsible, he's not such a wealthy person. He's okay. He's making ends meet, alhamdulillah. Do you know what? That responsibility with the consciousness of Allah, together Allah will open the floodgates. So that's why we say, may Allah open our doors. We make dua for barakah. We make dua for barakah in every single way. And like I said, that's the best gift.